Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.1 developers beta update on my iPhone XR. Now, I know that a lot of my subscriber was confused when I released the iOS 15 update video. So guys, please understand there's a difference between iOS 15 stable series of update and iOS 15 beta series of update. So let me again tell you that on my iPhone XR, which is right over here, I'm using iOS 15 beta series of updates. So that's why you were not able to see the iOS 15 stable update video on my iPhone XR, which I of course did for this iPhone 12. So on my iPhone 12, I am using iOS 15 stable series of updates. And if you want to check out the video regarding iOS 15, what's new, how was the update size and what about the update details, you can go ahead and check the iOS 15 video, which I made on iPhone 12. I will be putting a link in the video description wherein you can check out the iOS 15 video. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.1 beta update. If you have a beta account or software developers beta account, then you would be able to install such updates but to just to disclose you all the features that are coming to your iPhone that will be upcoming to iOS 15.1. Here is the video for you. So with that being said, I hope now you are clear in this video, we are going to talk about iOS 15.1 and specifically with iOS 15.1 Apple has made you know some of the new changes and some of the new icons notification and features are mostly available and mostly the features which were you know kind of removed from iOS 15 are sort of given back to iOS 15.1 so we are going to discuss all this in this video so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said Let's get right into the video. So as you can see guys, this is the iPhone XR on which I'm using the developer's beta profile. And let's discuss now about the iOS 15 beta 1 update. So this is iOS 15.1 developers beta update. As you can see from the size, it came in about 5.82 GB on my iPhone XR. So I was using iOS 15 RC version on my iPhone XR, which is the final release build for iOS 15. And whenever from a software, you know, which is stable enough, whenever you go to the beta, Apple has to totally reinstall the iOS on your iPhone so that's why the size is too much so if you are having the beta profile maybe with the public beta or developers beta you would be able to notice the you know the sizes would be quite large so in this case iOS 15.1 beta update came in about 5.82 gigabytes on my iPhone 10R. so now first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and show you the about section so as you can see the new build number is 19B5042H and before updating I had taken a screenshot let me show you uh, if I can find that screenshot as you can see before updating the build number was 19A344 and the modem firmware was 4.00.00 .00. Now after updating as you can see we have got a new modem firmware which is 3.50.09 so this is the new modem firmware that you get with iOS 15.1 update. Now the good thing that you know previously a lot of uh, my subscribers were commenting on my videos that they were facing in a lot of connectivity issues so those should be resolved if you are using iOS 15 beta profile and if you have installed iOS 15.1 beta update. So the main thing is that we have got a new modem firmware which is 3.50.09 and as you can see before updating the available space was 28.22 GB and after updating it has sort of decreased which is 27.68 GB. Now let's talk about what is new. So with iOS 15 RC update this feedback uh, application was sort of gone but with iOS 15.1 beta update this is the first thing is that this is back because all the bugs that you are experiencing on this developers beta or public beta softwares you actually are supposed to report through this feedback application so that's why this application is given and definitely if you are using public beta or software developers beta i encourage you to use this feedback app 
to report the bugs that you're experiencing that actually directly goes to Apple software team. Now let me talk about some of the changes. So the first thing is that with FaceTime now the share screen option is available. So I'm not going to show you how to share screen or not because if I open FaceTime for some privacy reasons I will not be able to show you. But now once you are in FaceTime call with somebody that share screen option which was removed with iOS 15 now is back again. Now if you are on FaceTime call with somebody maybe your favorite people then you can actually share the screen. Now if you go to the settings there are some noticeable changes as well. Let me go to the FaceTime option. So as you can see if you open this FaceTime option the fourth option over here this announce call the notification is sort of changed. Now it gives you the video kind of notification. Now for the comparison purpose let me also show you I have an iPhone 12 over here which runs on you know iOS 15 so let me show you let me open the same thing over here so as you can see guys from both these phones which is running on iOS 15 and 15.1 if you notice the fourth option in announce calls the icon has sort of changed so as you can see in the right we have iOS 15.1 beta so in beta they have kind of you know changed the icon which is for video calling so that's where uh, the difference is so this is actually changed so that was one noticeable change now talking about the other change if i go to the settings and if i go to the accessibility option this is a major change that i was able to notice and as you can see my airpods pro are kept here if i click on this airpods and if i come down to this audio accessibility settings rather than having three options which were present on ios 15 we just have one option which says follow iphone now also for comparison let me take my iphone and let me go to the accessibility settings let me see if i can find accessibility and also let me go to the airpods as you can see under this you know audio accessibility settings on left we have off video content and audio and video content which is on ios 15 and on comparison to that with ios 15 we have only one option which says follow iphone so that's a new change with ios 15.1 now the one new thing with ios 15.1 is with the weather application if i tap on weather application as you can see if you click this hamburger sign and if you go down sort of now this the weather channel icon is visible now previously it was only visible if you just scroll down and it was visible over here now with ios 15.1 i just noticed that this is visible if you click the hamburger sign so this a weather channel icon is also visible if you click the hamburger sign so these were some of the changes i was able to notice the major change was regarding the airports it actually sorts of you know tells you to follow your iphone rather than giving you the three options and apart from that there were uh, changes here and there regarding the facetime and regarding the phone settings as well so in this iphone 10r i don't use a sim card so i'm not able to show you changes which have been done under the phone settings but you get to see the similar kind of changes on facetime so this uh, was the changes regarding that and talking about the battery life now let me also click on this battery health so before updating my battery was 89 percent and after updating also the battery is 89 percent so this ios updates does not cause any battery health drop this just rechecks the physical capacity of the battery and as you can see from the battery graph clearly you know i don't use my iphone 10r that much i just use it for video purpose or as a secondary device this is pretty much evident from the screen on and screen off time if I click on last 10 days, as you can see the average screen on and screen off time. But as I would definitely say with iOS 15 stable updates and with iOS 15 15.1, the battery life is only going to improve. You won't be able to notice further degrades in terms of battery life. Let me know in the comment section below whether you want a battery life video on iOS 15.1 or not. So then again, this was just a quick video. I just wanted to let you know guys that Apple has released iOS 15.1 beta updates now if you are using public beta profile you might be able to get the update a little later but i am using ios 15.1 developers beta which is pretty much evident from here so i got the update yesterday night so then again i hope you enjoyed this little video if you do enjoy the video then definitely give this video a thumbs up and also if you have any video suggestions for me definitely i would love to know them if you could just put them in the comment section below so with that being said i hope you all stay well and i will see you on my next video bye bye